We're seeing on Discord. Oh, okay, okay. So then, um, is, I don't know if it's okay, um, because I have, I have somewhat of uh, rotations down. Um, okay. I don't know if you want me to. Well, I mean, I guess I would not. We'll let you do yours, and then, I, um, because mine is just. I'm pretty sure mine is just shit. So the, I, we should just throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, it, it's never that, man. It's never that. Um, mm -hmm. everyone has their own lanes, and especially with you just starting out. It's you know you're 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 trying things out you know, um, yeah. And I'll tell you eventually in the future you're gonna have those scenarios where it's better to take a shortcut than go the long route. In other scenarios, it's gonna be better to take the long route than the shortcut. Um, yeah. That's the part where you know Call of Duty is like basketball, where it's just one of those things you have to read. Um, got you, got you. All right. So the the side I spawn uh, spawned on Finn uh, is obviously the side you want to be spawning on for P1. Yeah. Just yep. because it sets you up for P2. Yep. Um, P3, obviously under the plane. Um, you could still probably utilize it from this spawn. But I'll tell you right now, that's where you don't want to be spawning there, is when P3 pops. Um, and then P4 pops at A long. You obviously want to flip, and then P5 spawns at wood. So pretty much yep. once P3 happens, P3, spawns. You, yeah, P3 you want to flip spawns. And a lot of the time... Two things are happening either no one's getting time on p3 or one team is soaking up like 40 seconds of p3 yeah. while the other team yeah. is rotating that's what I was gonna, that's one of the questions i was gonna ask like how do do i break or like for us to go over the whole breaking of a of a hard point or something like that because i know there's probably yeah. stretch for that too yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i've just been, it's just like like ever since i've been trying to get good at this and then me and you've been working like i've been more not just watching the game just for fun but trying to like stick and and get these how are they playing type of feels from it that's good i'm glad um and <laughs> right now i one, one thing that i'm thinking about is once we get done going through a majority of these maps or maybe even half of these maps you're going to start getting into the uh process of okay i can start doing this on my own and um when you start getting that confident we can probably try to find you like eight lobbies um where you can start actually getting into competitive and start playing a game where other people are following are following those rule, roles. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that'll be that'll be pretty cool. I want to let you know I mean, though that <laughs> a lot of a lot of the amateurs though they they still don't know about these roles and they lack a lot of information. So <laughs> what I'm giving you right now, pretty much only about T64 and up know about. Maybe a few teams Jeez. in 128, yeah. Yeah, that's what I've noticed, too, about the league play rankings. Right now, I'm competitor, so I'm, like, in, the, in like the bottom 50. I was like, bro, I, hopefully I can get to advanced um, in the next couple months or something. <laughs> right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, P1 in the train, or sorry, in the plane. You usually start it out with stacking, or you do a nice spread. Um, obviously, your two sub players go right inside the plane, and one AR player either goes up these stairs and um, starts wall banging for his teammates, or he just sits here and waits. If he doesn't do that, so, yeah. So the wall bangs will be shooting around this this wall, right? Uh, yes. Um, but you want to be shooting more uh, like right here. So if you come inside right now, do you see uh, this big old box right here? I think that's the yeah. bathroom or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You want to make sure you're shooting at this wall. So. Oh, gotcha. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> yep, as an AR, and you're just getting those wall bangs down and just getting damage down so we can win trades. Yep, yep um, definitely. If that's not the play call for your team, then you probably go over here towards uh, pallets just to play for these left side gunfights. Yeah, this is where I'm at, yep. Yep. And the other side that you want to do as an AR off break is usually you know play up the right side and then you can hop up top yellow and watch the cross for your teammates so then all right so then in this right when i'm by this forklift or up there what are my what are the lines of sight i should be watching or like the busy ones so um once you get up here on like yellow crate you should obviously mm -hmm. be watching their cross my waypoint. um if your teammates push up in the plane you're only looking over here gotcha 
But if your teammates are like sitting on desks and they're like, yo, watch my cross, watch my cross, they might push me. You're just, you're staying right here and you're shooting. Um, okay. If you're a little scared on your right side, you can push up and lay down. But, you know, now you're starting to get a little close yeah, with the bit. AR and you might just yeah. go and fight. No, for sure. That's what I've noticed. Sorry, I, I, if I'm really close up with a sub, I'm done. Yeah. No. Um, so that's off of break. And eventually what happens is off of break, um, people are going to die. And ideally, we're going to spawn up, and we're going to get started, and this is where you start getting into your official AR positions. Um, the first one, very simple, is just sitting green, and, you know, again, holding the entire marked. right lane, saying, guys, I have your entire right lane, they can't get past us, and I'm also watching your desk Marking push. Coordinates. Um, De desk push, meaning that they're pushing up towards P1? Yeah, so sitting right here, you can see inside the window, and they're pushing up towards P1 on our side. Um, you're also holding down uh, bottom plane, and right now you are holding the entire right lane by yourself. So yeah. your three other players can hit inside a plane or rotate left. Now the other AR position right. is over here on Finn, and this is more so of, you know, your hard blocking. So if it's you have three teammates pushing up, you need to stay here. The reason why is because you get to hold the entire right lane, the entire left lane, and then if your teammates need the uh, help, you can just wall bang right here. Wall, and then that hits in front of the bathroom, or well, on our side. Uh, yeah, that just hits the that just hits our side. So if your teammates are like they're challenging me right now, they're challenging me right now, you could just like literally wall bang it and just try to help them out. Um. That's just something you can do just to get damage down. But again, and, this is where you're hard blocking. Yeah? And then wall bang, do I, is there any... Like, I know before you need that FMJ perk or something. We don't need that in this game, right? No, you don't. Okay. Um, and you, do you know what hard blocking is, by the way? Yeah, yeah. We went yeah. over it last time. But basically, yeah, just holding down the... Yeah, it's I, ideally um, always a 3-1 a setup where three players are pushed up. And if you're the last player, you're blocking both spawns. And blocking both spawns, you need to obviously sit back. Um, and like sitting this back far, you're blocking both spawns. Um, but again, you know, let's say, you know, kills are coming in, your teammates are spawning up, your teammates are spawning up, so you need to basically hit relays. Um, so if you look at your minimap and you see your teammates spawned up, you would say, alright, I'm pushing up uh, left side Tetris over here. And then that guy would instead now be hard blocking. Um, if it's an AR, if it's a sub player, don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got you. If it's another AR player, just say, yo, I got to get aggression right here. <clears throat> okay. Um, a nice little shot and angle right here is you can just sit up on this box and you can watch the entire left side of the lane. Um, and if you, you can sometimes get away with, uh, seeing the cross on the right side. Oh, huh. yeah, that is true. Yep, so sitting right here, you uh, hold the hold down the entire left lane. You also see inside of the plane, and you can also see a little bit of the right side cross, just in case. So this is another pretty great um, spot. Okay, uh, this is pretty good. Yep. And uh, now, on the opposite side of breaking P1, it's just pretty much basic. It's, as a team, you guys want to try to triple stack. Um, just up the steps. You as an AR player, you would wall bang um, this wall and uh, that wall, and let your AR play, or let your sub players push up. And then you guys are just playing the trades inside the plane. Like your whole goal is to get the hill time. You don't have spawns, so you need the hill time. Yeah. Um. So you guys get the hill time, and once you get past this uh, door over here, and you're up in here. This is where you can start spawning people out if they don't have a hard block. So if they didn't have a hard block person, um, or they're too far out, you're pushed up right here. You're spawning the enemy out behind you, and you're spawning. Okay, so yeah. So in here, if I shoulder peek, nobody's on that tail or anything, then they're not hard blocking, right? Or they can hard block from any anywhere over on that side. All right. So actually, uh. I said that well, incorrectly. I, guess... I said that incorrectly. So let's just say that they do have a hard block right now. Let's just keep it basic. Yeah. They still yeah. do have a hard block right now, but because you're pushed up this far, um, 
No, because they're still gonna be spawning there. That's the only thing that sucks. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, that's um, fine. Because honestly, like I've never this spot is pretty good because you're covered. And then I could check the plane, and if nothing, just check mid, see if anybody's there, and then I could always just push towards the back of the plane. Yeah, and so. ideally, that's what that's the whole goal, is you yeah. guys are getting plane control, and you're just trying to get your sub players inside of blue. That's your yeah, yeah, main yeah. goal, is to get a sub player inside of blue, because now you're blocking the right side, and once you push up, you're now uh, blocking the left side. Got you, got you. Okay, okay. Um, when you break plane, the enemies, they're all going to be spawning P2. So like I said, um, you guys just broke and you got P1 time. Your sub players are pushing up and getting out of blue. You as an AR player, you're sitting right here, soaking up time, and you're watching the P2 spawn. Oh, gotcha. Yep. And you're just holding this and you're just watching them come out. Once you get these kills, the enemy is going to be spawning wood. So if you wanted to, once you got those kills, you could push up and try to get these kills wood now. Uh, Man, I didn't know playing had so much. Holy shit! And I've been losing this. I've been losing this opportunity so much. <laughs> and uh, the only scary part about you know you know killing all these guys P two and then saying all right we're flipping we're flipping turning around and going for these kills at wood is you could get shot from your uh, staircase. yeah yeah staircase right there. Yeah, um, so but, it, it's, uh, but, it's just a matter of timing and just, you know. Yeah, yeah but the thing, the guy behind that wooden wall and in that wood, in wood it, those people get pretty, they could get good shots in, so it'll be good just to clear them out, one or two of them, and then if I get traded, I get traded, you know? Right, so ideally what's happening right now is when your sub players are pushing out and you're getting these kills at P2, the enemy is spawning wood and they're not ready for you. What the enemy spawning wood is thinking is fuck we just lost we just lost spawns two we gotta get this time so we gotta make sure we get there and break it and three we gotta try to flip and try to get to those p2 spawns as fast as possible so yeah, you coming around what... right here you're just gonna see people running out no one's gonna yep. be pre-aiming you at all 100 100 percent yeah because i know that's how i would think i would think like oh shit they got spawns i gotta get spawns back even yeah. though you know exactly and uh, you get those kills and then boom that's pretty much p1 um if you wanted to if you do a 3-1 break for p1 again you just have triple teammates hitting this back staircase and your last ar player would just be working up a long yep that's me that's yep. this is where i usually be at here and this and is right by those boxes yeah yep. and this is kind of a one life thing where if you die once yep. just you can't do this again just go to yep. plane with your teammates yeah, yeah. Um, that's yeah. what I've noticed too. Like, once I get one or two kills somewhere, I I gotta reposition. Even though I've been repositioned a little bit better, I don't know if you saw the video. I mean, I haven't seen those videos, but no, yeah, your videos little... are definitely better. Um, that's why I was when I watched them, I was like, yeah, you're you're ready for uh you know a breakdown for a map. <clears throat> All right. So then, um, yeah. okay. No, no, I got it. I got it. Okay, these two are pretty good. I I totally forgot about this spot too by the exit door all right so now for p2 uh p2 it's all about just making sure you know what angles are covered mm -hmm. because there's a lot of angles where th three people could be in completely different spots and watching the entire left side um and what I mean by that is you can have a player in green right now watching the blue side. You can have a player inside blue watching the blue side. And you can also have the player in a hill watching the blue side over here. Um, so that's where it gets dangerous. And this is where comms are most important. And it's saying, all right, guys, we need to have... Uh, I, I have left. I have middle. I have right. Done. Right? Mm -hmm. Um so I'll go ahead and tell you the setup. Um, this one, obviously, this is where we're going to start talking about, you know, playing football. Um, and right now, let's just start it out with we just spawned up and we need to get a basic setup for P2. Right away, you pretty much always want your AR player to get inside green just because it's a beautiful spot to watch all the players point. front of hill and watch middle and top of plane. Then you want a sub player to try to get over here and get inside blue. And your sub player is literally holding down this entire left side and just being a rat. Now your other AR and your other sub player, 
they're starting to play hill and again this is where it starts thinking about where are the enemies on the map so if the enemies were all hitting front hill of p2 you and your sub player would be playing this just in the front but if the call out was oh shoot they're hitting us middle and left side then you as an ar player will say all right no problem and you get over here to the back and you can just say all right yo just get back to me we're just gonna play these kills and you're gonna let the Fact. enemies basically try to push up to you and uh, the reason why is just because you know this is a nice head glitch that no one uses and once you guys get the kills then you guys can push out and here you're watching here you're looking at anybody coming out of plane or coming mid right but you need to have that info so it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. guys they're hitting the front you're going to hill with your sub or it's guys they're hitting the left you're coming over here to help your other sub at the left side got you got you got you okay um other ar players just in green like i said right. now what happens if we just got four down and we need to push out this is where it's very crucial to make sure everyone's on the same board <clears throat> Your AR player right here, he can easily push up and go bottom plane. And two things are going to happen. He's going to get here to the bottom plane, and he's going to see the entire Stop enemy spawning right this. there. And he's going to see him crossing right here, or they're going to be spawning over here at uh, wood. And ideally, you either want your AR player or a sub player, just anyone, just anyone, to push up bottom plane right here just because it starts split spawning the enemy where you're going to have the enemy spawning two wood and two a long and this just screws them over it does it doesn't give them a chance to break p2 now <clears throat> so you want one player pushed up that far now obviously your uh next player should just follow in get green the other player and hill grabs time and hill and then the last player can play uh, just Finn left over here. Yeah, just play Finn over here, left side. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's 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 ideally what you want is we got the four down, one of us push up. All right. Now let's say there's thirty seconds left on time, and we need to push in P three. Uh, in on P two on P two. Okay. 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 We're still talking about P2 right now. Yep. Um, so P2, let's just say uh, it closed out and we need to rotate now, right? Uh, or sorry, there's 30 seconds and we need to rotate. If there's 30 seconds, let's try to push out front of hill. And us pushing out this front of hill right here is going to spawn the enemy directly behind us at P2. Um, if you pull up your big map right now, they're going to be spawning in the bottom right corner. That's the spawn they're going to be at. Oh, that will be great. Okay. Yeah, so what this happens now is 30 seconds left. <coughs> you guys are pushing out the front, spawning the enemy behind, and your teammate on hill is now just sitting here and watching them come towards them. Yeah, just watch them on the side, which would be a lot yeah. easier. And that's how we rotate with the 30 seconds left, is, you know, we're all just pushing out this right side. We're rotating around, getting plane control, sitting on P3, da 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 da, -da. Sometimes that doesn't happen, though. Sometimes uh, the enemies are just flooding the front, and they're already rotated for P3. So this is how you would want to rotate out of P2. This is where P3, it's very important to try to flip spawns, because right now, where we're spawning P2, we could be stuck here for a full 180 seconds. Jesus. And um, the reason why is just because of the setup for the spawn trap for P3, P4, and P5. It's the same setup, and you can keep an enemy spawn trapped here for a full 180. Um, it's happened before in, in like the beginning of the game when no one knew how to play, but everyone knows this now, so that's not how they play. Um, ideally, all you do is you get all of your teammates to rotate left. One teammate goes top fin to watch the flank and watch top plane. And uh, the other three teammates are just rotating on the left side. And this is all this is. It's just pretty much just everyone playing for these kills, getting these kills, constant trades, and just fighting left side, left side, left side. And ideally, um, it's just a game of football and map control and just trying to get one player inside of wood or computers. Just locked. one player. That's all you want. 
and you're doing that for the full 60 seconds. It's almost just constant hitting, hitting, hitting until we get one player in here. Once we get one player in here, now the enemies are spawning a uh, split. They're spawning both P2 and maybe spawning uh, right in front of us at uh, a, long. a long. Yeah, exactly. Um, but once we get that flip, boom, now we can start about uh, talk about the setup for P3. All right, talking about for the setup for P3. Oh, wait, we didn't even talk about breaking P2. Sorry, let's just talk about that real quick. Um, it's breaking P2, it's the exact same idea where you want to try to get, you know, an AR and a sub player on the right side or plane just to get the sub player inside of blue to break P2. Um, and then your other two players are either, you know, in plane with you or they're pushing up on the right side, um, just trying to break with that blue player. I do, sometimes sometimes there are two two pushes where you know it's the AR and sub player going toward blue and the other AR and sub player are playing plain and just trying to get pushed up toward green. I'm um, very difficult and it's just your job as an AR player to make sure you're with a sub and you're watching over him getting damage down and you guys are able to push up for a pinch. Yep. All right, but back yeah, to AP. Yeah, back to yeah. P3. My bad about that. No, no worries, no worries. I mean, it's it's a good information I'm getting here for sure, especially with that whole plane and down here the, these angles and positions. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah, and uh, get ready for this part. You're gonna love this. All right. Um, so for hard blocking for P3, you as an AR player, your hard blocking is literally anything before this line. So starting at this pillar and anything before it. That's where you need to stay to hard block. If you go past it, you are now no longer hard blocking, and the enemy can spawn behind you. So you need, okay. to, yeah. So you need to stay before it to make sure uh, the enemy doesn't spawn there. Doesn't spawn behind. Gotcha. Yeah. And you are hard blocking, and pretty much your job right now is just you know watching you know green, calling point. out the cross, and all you're doing is calling out crosses. You're not really trying to get kills. Obviously, if you can get damage, do it. But yeah, you're just holding down this entire taste. middle lane and all of green. Um, you can see cross from with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. obviously, like, because not, obviously, if you went the full route all the way around, then I'm not going to see you. Um, but this is all I'm doing is my main goal is just a hard block. That's my job. Now I'm just trying to help my team out with calling out this middle cross. And then um, your left side, someone in hill would be watching this. So, you know, your teammate would call out, oh, someone on your left side, then you just get ready for that kill. You can always hop up on top of this uh, pillar, too, and just uh, play the camera where they're, you know, pushing up on you, and then you can, you know, jump around and get the kill. Yep. All right, cool. So this is where you would hard block for P3. Now, your other players, ideally, you're going to have them dedicated on this right side do you know why you're gonna have a majority of your players on this right side uh p p3 yeah for p3 i mean just to hold their spawns to the left side because then it isn't the next one p4 right so, back here so uh yeah uh, yeah so p4 is uh back there um oh i got the wrong one oops but, i guess the spawn trap yeah yeah so basically well it, it's a little bit about that but if you remember i told you uh the P2 spawn trap, that's a spawn trap for a whole 180 seconds. Everyone knows how to get out of that now. Um, maybe not amateurs and people you might play against, but ideally teams are going to start rotating Locking all the way through the back, and they're going to keep trying to hit this right side out to rotate to get spawns Setting and get right that one player point. inside of wood. Yeah. And that's why you gotcha. have like three players on this side. Um, Got gotcha. you. So the first player, you usually want an AR player, and you're just soaking up time, and you're sitting right here watching the cross. And you're watching this cross for your teammate who's hard blocking. So you see one, two, and be like, yo, two on your left side. Then your hard block says, all right, cool, I'll pick up those guys on my left side. Um, and your hard block is also watching your middle right here, so he would call out, one's about to challenge your close. And then you can, you know, challenge your close. Or, one's about to challenge your outer, and you can challenge your outer. Gotcha. Those, those are the callouts that should be going down between your hard block and the player inside of hill right now. 
Now, the next player is going to be over here, and usually it's a, a sub player, but if you have to do it with an AR, do it with an AR. And you're just playing around this Tetris right now, watching the spawn trap and getting all of these players trying to get towards you and get in, in, and getting toward blue. Um, so you're like, oh. a, yeah, so you're, yeah, what's up? No, 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 I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So this is, this one's after P3. This is, uh, this is when break it. P3 is still popped. This is still, P3 mm -hmm. is popped. And you're okay. in a setup to for the spawn trap. The spawn trap, yep. yep. So this is where your third player is, as he's playing around Tetris, looking for these kills, trying to get them. Um, and he's just trying to play his life as long as possible. And now your fourth and final player is usually top plane. And he's going to get a call out from that Tetris player. Oh, one coming up your plane. He can get that kill. But ideally, you're just sitting up here and you're going for those spawn traps P2. And uh, you also have this setup right here where you can hop on top of this barrel. And you can watch him uh, cross out of the front. And then um, if you get a call out from your teammate at Tetris saying, yo, I'm one shot, I need help, then you would just turn around and help him. And uh, that's pretty much the basic setup for P3. And breaking out of P3, like I said, as a team, you just want to try to break down this entire uh, right side. There because, you. Yeah, because that's that's... That's the setup that they're in. <laughs> yeah, I see. You yeah. gotta break it. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's just P3. Really basic. Really basic. Um, now for P4. P4, same idea for hard blocking, where you want this player playing in this area still. You could, this time, push up a little bit on top of uh, stairs, but ideally, you're still staying behind this pillar. Um, and you're staying behind this pillar, hard blocking, holding down your point. teammate's entire middle lane, and you're holding down uh, the entire right side. Marked. So as your AR player, you're just going back and forth between middle and the right minutes. side. Um, ideally, almost no one, it's P4 now, so almost no one's going to be on the right side of the map. So you can just Setting really just point. focus on the front right here. Um, so this is where you're going to be sitting, uh, hard blocking again. And then uh, your teammates. So once again, if you can, you want a sub player and an AR player to hit plane to get control and just win those trades. Your sub player is going to be playing up and exit. And you, you just need one player inside a plane. Once you have one player inside a plane, this player can go back and forth here. They can go back and forth here. They can back up and use this angle. Da -da 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 -da. They can do whatever they want. Even if they don't want to be top plane anymore, they can hop bottom plane. Um, and that's just what he's doing the entire time. Now the other players, the other players are obviously just playing hill, and a lot of the time that's usually what happens for P4 is the enemy team getting spawn trap P2 just says, you know what, this is so annoying, we can't rotate, we need to get time on P4, and they just start hitting the front. So this is where AR, uh, this is where your last two players are just playing the front. Yeah. Um, and if you're able to to get the spawn trap then ideally you have your player on hill sitting right here holding the front and then your other player could be watching it with him or this player can leave and start playing bottom plane and you can have a player top plane and bottom plane jesus sounds like yeah i could see why there's 180 seconds but yeah. you'll lose yep yeah, so spawn uh, trap. you keep him spawn trap there and same way to break it if you're in the spawn trap just rotate left you just got to get on this side and Move get control of this point. side if you're in the spawn trap. Um, or you can just try to headbutt it and win these gunfights and just get map control, which is usually what happens for P4. Alright, now P5, the rotation uh, for P5. For your hard blocking, um, it's really basic. You just need to tr start transitioning over towards wood and towards the P1 time. Yeah. Because at like that 30 second mark is when people are going to start having like, you know, two, three players coming over here. And you just want to hit that transition over towards wood to hold that hold down that entire right side. Gotcha. Um, your other AR player, usually they're supposed to be backed up and they can do two things. They can either go top red and hold down the entire left lane, middle lane and plane. 
Or they can go to this back part right here, old plane, and their left lane. Um, this part right here, almost no one expects Shutting you to right. come over here. So uh, people coming on your left lane, you're almost always guaranteed a free kill just because they don't expect you to be here. Jeez, I've never seen this. And then uh, your other AR spot is um, up here where it's the exact same thing where you get to see A long and uh, Move on my waypoint. top. Top plane. Plane. Yeah. And uh, this AR player is hard blocking, and those are three different spots you can use. The other AR player is usually typically inside of wood, um, and he's also holding down this entire left side for a majority of the time, while your other players are focused on the front. But obviously, if you get the call out, uh, there's three front, I need help, it's boom, you're there to help. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Now, your sub-players. Sub-player, obviously you're going to have one player inside of time, soaking up time. And then your other player is usually playing back steps. And whenever he gets the opportunity, he's just pushing inside a plane. And just just literally... Controlling it. Yeah, just controlling it. Literally, same thing. Just going up and down the plane, bottom side of plane, top plane. Da -da 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 -da. Gotcha. Um, now, breaking out of P5. Uh, for once, uh, breaking out of P5... You're not necessarily in a spawn trap. You can still be in the spawn trap, by the way. Um, it's just a, it's a lot harder for P5. Um, but I, I'll tell you the spawn trap right now. So you were you would still keep your one AR player uh, hard anchoring or hard blocking, and he would be probably top red. You have one player in time soaking up time, and then your two other players. You would have um, one player pushed up at. Tetris, and then your other player mm -hmm. is pushed up inside a plane, doing the P2 spawn trap, like we talked about. Yep. Um, a different setup where you can force spawn them blue, though. Ideally, you don't want to force spawn them blue because, you know, they're able to just hit the hill right in front of you. But if we are force spawning them blue, you can just have your AR player uh, sitting right here watching the front side of blue, and then your sub player is, like, playing, um, like down here at the staircase and like you know playing around bottom green and just constantly running around this area to spawn trap them blue setting rally point which will be ideal so spawn or well, not to spawn trap blue to spawn trap the other side yeah um it would be ideal to spawn trap them p2 because obviously they're spawning so like literally opposite side of the map to the hard point exactly um it, it is very difficult to do though so that's another spawn trap that's a bit easier is the blue spawn trap. And not only that, but the blue spawn trap, if your teammate on time really wanted to, your teammate on time could hop up on box and uh, help you with this. If you come over here. Mm, yep. You I can see. also hop up on this one. I don't think you get time uh, on this super high one, though, so... All right, now uh, breaking P5 though, getting out of that spawn trap. Um, now it's finally something different where it's pretty much you got to invest to get plane control. Plane. Yep. Yeah. Once you kill out this player plane, you now just leave one player plane, and ideally the rest of the team is gonna be over here at A long, and at A long, you gotta really time it. P5 is a money hill because it's very impossible to break and it requires the best teamwork um okay so you guys get plane control together uh you leave one player plane and then the other three players leave plane and come right here ideally you're either gonna have a ar player on top red or inside of wood so one player would slide to right here start having the gunshots on him and then he'll say all right guys i'm gonna slide again he slides again to get to cover, and then the other two teammates challenge out to try to kill the guy Wood. Once this player uh, gets through through the back, the other two players, uh, one player should go to the back with him. The other player pushes up for a cut because they're still going to be spawning Wood right here. Yeah. Oh, even that close? Um, th there's a chance. There's there's definitely a chance that one, maybe two people will spawn here uh, just based off of timing, you know? um okay but if they're not then right now they're spawning blue 
And then you guys are just really just running around it and then just trying to get put into your setup. Another way you can try to break it is just, you know, being head, just <laughs> just hitting it head first. And yeah, ideally, just going, going fights. Yeah, ideally, that's just um, getting a sub player yes. and an AR player right here. The AR player plays right here, trying to kill the guy Hill and try to kill the guy Wood. And the sub player is just flying out, making sure that he can get behind here and then potentially get inside of Wood. And the other two players, uh, you would probably have an AR uh, on this wing looking for Hill and challenging like top, um, top red and also going for the spawn trap. Um, if you do try to head it head first and you get a player inside of wood, the enemy will spawn a long, Destination and locked. this is where you can just go for the spawn trap up here. Mm -hmm. Um, once that spawn finally breaks, then you would have to turn around. But yeah. And do it all over again. Yep, and, uh, that's, that's pretty much, uh, breaking down the hard point for, uh, checkmate. Um, last and final... Uh, rotation I would say from P5 to P1 is usually if you can try to invest into it early where you have a player already pushing up the left side lane I would say that's like my last note is if you can get a player to rotate through the left lane early <clears throat> it's not likely though that doesn't happen yeah well. all right and uh, that's just literally how you play checkmate hardpoint that's the blueprint uh did you have any questions no 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 definitely we went over the uh the spawn traps which was good the spawns um went over the uh the anchor points which is good and then also like different right. spots um to hold down um or the different strats for each pe for each hardpoint which is all that was exactly what i wanted to get out of it awesome perfect um and we're doing great on time right now. We're about at 40 minutes, or no, about 37 minutes. And we're going to talk about Control now. Um, control is a lot more simpler. It's a simpler game game mode. You know, there's mm -hmm. only two spawns you have to worry about, and that's the left spawn, right spawn. That's it. Yep. <laughs> um, and it's pr very easy to predict. So, for Control, this is where I said it's kind of like S&D, where... You're going to want to have a break because a really good break could get you around when in control just off the bat. Like I have a, a break th meaning like the round just started and you're playing the round. Okay. And it's the first kills that go down. It's your break off. Gotcha. Um, I'll tell you right now. I have a few strats. I'm not going to share uh, with you with them, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I do have a few strats where it's literally, you do a break, you get those kills, you're going to guarantee to cap one point, and if everything else goes perfectly, you're capping the second point in seconds. Okay. Um, and it's done. It's been hap It happened before for us, which is awesome. And sometimes we just get uh, cut short. Overall, the idea is you're capping one point off the bat right away. That's yeah. how it's kind of like S&D, where you need to outplay your teammate. Are you going A or are you going B? And how are you going to cap it? Yeah. Um, so once you get a team, that's something you guys want to talk about, is how can we, you know, off the break, cap B immediately. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but talking about offense now. So on offense... For hard, uh, for sorry, offense for control. checkmate control. It's all right. Break off just happened. All right, cool. So break off just happened, and let's say the enemy is in our spawn right now, uh, spawn trapping us, right? Because we just uh, we we didn't execute it correctly. So we have enemies spawn trapping us right now. The number one rule to control when you spawn up and you know you don't have map control is to slow down look for kills, play for kills. And this is where you all spawn up and you don't want to spawn up and start running. You want to spawn up and say, all right, our orange is good, our green is good, Finn is good. I'm going to try to get uh, Finn control. Oh shit, I died blue, I didn't check blue. Someone get blue. Um, and that's literally it. You're just slowly getting control of your base until you're able to break. And... Um, once you get that done, it's pretty much AR players 
go top fin and go green <laughs> and uh see if you can uh look for any other sneaky kills in top plane because the other play ar players usually do Locking play like top plane top exit or yeah 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 of course yeah. yeah yeah i've seen those so that's where um you would just you know see if you can find any of those players and if you don't see them then you would just uh fly out with your subs because in control, it's it's a team game mode. You always want to make sure. Um, if you looked at your big map, you would always want to make sure your team is vertical of each other. Like if you look at your big map right now, you see how you and I are uh, parallel to each other. Yep. You would want have you you would want all four players to be like that. You wouldn't want okay. one player behind, one player pushed up, one player crazy pushed up. It happens because yeah. it's Call of Duty. It it just happens. But that's ideally how you want uh, the map control to be handled. Okay. Yep. All right. So we finally, 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 uh, you know, cleared out our base. And now we're deciding, all right, guys, what do we want to capture? Do we want to capture B or do we want to capture A? If the call was to capture B, obviously sub players got to get that plane control. Yep. You as an AR player, 100% playing these... Um, Playing Tetris. Tetris, yep. Trying to get these kills. See anyone trying to hop up plane, and ideally you're just pushing up the map little by little, little by little. Um, if you have another uh, player with you right here, you're gonna want to try to break down this hill. But once you get to B, it's pretty simple. You just sit right here in this corner, and you say, "I have your entire front side, and I have the plane push. Just focus on your right side." So your player in hill will only focus on, you know, whatever is coming from his middle while you're holding down his entire front side. And sitting in this position is a great power position. Usually you're going to be able to get at least maybe three kills. Um, five if you're really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and repositioning is really basic. You know, it's up. Oh, you're behind this pillar now. Up. I don't have your cross. I don't have your cross. I'm playing a kill on my left. Okay, I have your cross again. I have your cross again. Um, if you want to get a little snazzy with it and you're very confident, you can come up here. I have your entire front. I have your entire front. The only problem with this is now you don't see the plane push up. Um, but usually you would have a player inside plane, so you're fine. And... Uh, the last AR player, um, again, it's control, so usually you're going to want to be stacking. Three, you know? yeah. yeah, like three stacking, um, two stacking. Um, but if you have your other AR player, two things that he can do. First one is he can stack on time with your other teammate, and they just double hold down this left side, which is ideal. You have one player top plane, one player holding the cut, on two players point. on hill. But let's say he was dead and he just spawned out. Oh, the first thing you say is, guys, I'm green. I'm holding down your entire right Destination lane. marked. And with that setup, you have one player playing, one player uh, holding the player in hill. Sorry, let me take let me take that back. You have one player Two. playing. You have one player in time. You have one player holding that guy's front. And now you have one player holding that guy's middle. So the guy gotcha. in hill right now doesn't need to look anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, ideally, that's how you would uh, capture B um, if you're not able to get map control. Or, sorry, if you're not able to get map control, if you're able to, you know, get a few kills and get uh, map control, and then you're just capping B. Yeah. Now, talking about the next thing is how to make it easier for yourself. And this is where it would be a lot more hectic and a lot more reliant on kills and those last seconds. Guys, you, you need to stack now. And it's really basic. It's just trying to get an AR player pushed up into this position or a sub player, and you're just holding it. So if you really wanted to, if you saw that your kill feed and you know that you killed two people on your left and the other two people on the right, you can easily push up right here and say, guys, I pushed up B. They're spawning A long now. And you could, you know, play this pillar these kills you can push up into wood if you really want to ideally the sub player would be pushed up into wood and just pushing up this far is spawning them further away from b yeah by, by red tower yep and uh, that's just how you make it easier for yourself um, Definitely. 
Now, talking about capping A. So capping A, immediately the first thing you want is an AR player to always be playing green or to always be playing this forklift. Just to hold down your teammate's middle lane. The next player can either be trying to get inside plane or he can be bottom plane. He, he can just really, you know, be somewhere plain side or he can yes. just sit up over here and play with you. Now, the other two players, it's really basic. Because that AR player is holding down their entire middle lane, these two players yes. in hill, yes. this is all they have to do. AR yes. player sitting right here watching the front. Yes. And the sub player right here laying down ready to kill anyone that peeks. And this is a double stack, and because you guys have a double pre-aim, you guys are almost guaranteed to capture this. And that's just really a basic A capture. And it's it's really easy just to get into that setup. It's just a matter of making sure you have your AR player sitting green or forklift. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, these setups sound like pretty legit, to be honest. And again, same uh, same concept where if you want to spawn the enemy out and make it easier for yourself, you can kind of get lucky and get a player to push up, and now you're spawning them out. All right. Um, that was offense for uh, checkmate control. Now we can start talking about defense. Again, defense off the break, you have a play, right? Um, yeah. And that play is usually a default and that default is, hey, we're spreading the map just to see where they're going. Or it's, guys, let's make a crazy play just to gain, gain early map control. Defense, your ultimate goal is to try to spawn trap the enemy. Because all four of you players can be in their base and you guys could literally spawn trap them like it's old Call of Duty day. Oof, okay. Yep, and that's then that's usually your ultimate goal. Um, and it's just about making sure you have the best comps ever and making sure everyone knows what's covered and what's not covered. Um, so right away, um, let's say the enemy team, they're stacking A and they're trying to get A control. First things first, you're going to want to obviously have an AR and a sub player playing the front of hill just to try to get that damage down non-stop, non-stop. And then the two other players, this is going to sound weird, but they're going to want to ignore plane and focus on just getting bottom plane control to shoot them uh, from the side. And those two players can, you know, play together and play the pinch together. Or you can have the one AR player sit here and literally watch uh, the players in hill and kill the people crossing while you have your sub player pushing up this right side of the map and force spawning them over there. Um, it's checkmate, so maybe if you had three AR players, this player right here can also have an AR and now you guys are spawn trapping them like it's uh, P2. Jesus, yeah, yeah, I right? can see it. Um, but if this is a sub player, ultimately your idea is you're just trying to get a flank. And what this is doing now is you guys are four man pinching the hill. And let's say you guys just got those kills. Perfect. This is where you want to push up. Control, whenever you get kills, you always want to get map control. Always, 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 always for the spawn trap. Mm -hmm. gotcha first, first normal place almost everyone plays is this corner right here just because they get to hold all of middle and watch across but don't be afraid to push up do not ever be afraid to push up even further look for these kills and even <laughs> hop up on top of green and watch that spawn back coordinates. there hmm. and um you can also if you want to you can also push inside of green with your ar and play for these kills. Usually your AR player is in this position. Um, sometimes your sub player gets there. It's fine though. So you have your AR pu a player pushed up that far. Usually you would want to have a sub player pushed up inside a green. Um, but we're going to talk about where the other AR player would play. 
So your other AR player has a few choices. They can either stay top plane over here and, you know, go for these skills or stay top yellow and go for those kills. Um, but if you have teammates push up on the left side, that's a little counterproductive. So you would instead be on the right side of the plane, um, watching people fly out of blue and try to cross to the back. The nice little setup right here where you can also watch the cross right here with an AR. And uh, you would more than likely have a sub player inside Move of on my blue. waypoint. And last but not least, uh, just a simple back exit. And whenever you guys can, whenever you guys are able to, please keep pushing as much as possible, you know? Yep. Um, because this uh, box right here is making us not be able to block their spawn. So they're just going to keep spawning right here. And when they try to run out, you're going to have a sub player inside of blue. Point. You're going to have a sub player inside of like wood right here. You would have an AR player watching the entire backside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then your other AR player is usually the one um, calling out where those guys are going. If you as an AR player are able to push up thin, great. I'm not expecting that to happen though. So instead you could uh, just go to one of those normal plane spots and just call out for your <laughs> sub players. One going there, one going there, one is in the far back, one's hitting you wood, one's hitting you blue. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, I, I, I can notice. I could, I could see what you meant by like AR. One of the main thing is to um, is for callouts, and I can see now knowing these angles and stuff. I was like, okay, now I understand. <clears throat> yep, and um, that's pretty much a breakdown for checkmate control and checkmate hardpoint. Now, if we were a team like you and I had two other players, what we would do is say, all right, let's make sure we all remember that. And we would do an overview. Um, just make sure anyone has any questions or any concerns. And then uh, we would hop into our first scrim, start on this map, start with the uh, control whenever we start playing controls. And then uh, we would VOD review this map. So watch All right, and then, and then in from... Well, I guess VOD review is just basically the same thing. Just um, watching what you're right. doing, taking notes, and then... Just applying it to yeah, the scrims so, and practice. Yeah, so the VOD review, um, it would be more on, all right, this is our blueprint, so we know what we should be doing. You're not in your spot. Why? Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah, yeah. it's very uh, black and white. and uh, Okay. Makes getting better at the game easier. Definitely, definitely. All right, okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I'll, I'll test you real quick just to see if you're able to retain any of that knowledge. And then we can yeah, let's end the do session. That. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So um, we're going to start it off with uh, P1 bad side. What happens if we uh, spawn P1 bad side? P1 bad side meaning what, wood? Yeah, like we're spawning wood, which is bad spawns, and it's P1 time. Um, basically, I'm pushed towards blue, right? So gain control blue side of blue building. So oh, no, it's P1. No, no, it's, yeah, P1. it's P1. So, yeah, yeah, so just try to get um into plane. Right. right, wall bang. And then try to move in through there. And just take over plane for that. Or if not, just uh, right side. And just try to go towards um to get the spawn flip for P2. So I want to let you know that you should never, ever go right side unless you're going right side out of this exit right here. Um, ideally why? Because if you start to try to go to right side and the enemies are spawning P2, the enemies are hard hitting your teammates in hill on the left side and the back, uh, and the back steps, right? The back of, yeah. So yeah. if you say, all right, guys, I'm going to leave you. You guys are, you know, in a 2v3 or whatever. They're in a 2v3 now while you're trying to push up and now they're dead. People are already inside a plane and now your yeah. best next move is... All right, I guess I got to sneak, and now you got to, yeah. you know, sneak. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, you lose a purpose. Yeah, you're not playing yeah. the game at that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, not only that, but if an AR player, you, usually there's an AR player playing in one of those spots, so the second you fly out of that right wing, you're probably going to be dead. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's yeah. I'm getting yeah. some shots in for sure. So that's why you always want to make sure you're as a collective team breaking the hill Pushing together. Pushing yeah. And then when you're ready to push out, your ultimate goal is to get a sub player inside of blue. All right, cool. Um, so right now, you know, let's just say you know we just broke P two. Um, we broke P two. What is our normal setup right now? We don't need to hard block for a hardcore setup. We're just gonna do a basic setup. We just we just got time. So you want one of the ARs in green? Okay. Um. Right, watching middle and A long. You want to have at least one or two in the on the hill. At least one and the other one just covering the front of yellow. Yep. And then if they're coming left side, um, you can have back here in the wood to help out the sub that's probably in blue or on that side. Exactly. And that's a very, very, very important thing is always trying to make sure you have a sub player inside of blue. Um, because if he's inside of blue and he says, yo, there's actually no one here, this sub player can easily push up and get to that bottom... Uh, Bottom plate P3. spot, yeah, that we talked about. And all you would do as an AR player is just say, alright, no problem, and then you would just go fin and uh, play the game. Alright, so I kind of hijacked that and talked about how uh, your player could push up. Um, no, no, but it's fine. At the end of the day, that's, that's a, like you said, that's the point. You know, just get good spawns and get good positioning for the hill we're on and the next one. Right. All right, so there's 30 seconds left on P2, and we're ready to rotate. Um, how should we rotate? Um, you can either go straight in, and then obviously see if anybody's on the right side, and then it's basically wherever they're spawning at, more or less, or wherever one of our teammates isn't looking at, you'll hide. Uh, you'll look to the opposite side. Right. Yeah. So um, 30 seconds left on P2. We're gonna want to push out of the front if we can. Uh, just to force spawn them behind us, and uh, if we're not able to oh, do that's that, right, force spawn, yeah, 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 yeah. And if we're not able to do that, and we're getting spawn trapped, how how do we get out of the spawn trap? Uh, getting spawn trapped. Well, obviously, you have to flank around. Yeah, right? exactly. So all of P three, and uh, usually at the beginning of P four, the team is always trying to break through on this left side. And um, you're just trying to get those gunfight wins. Yeah, um, get those one-on-ones, yeah, get all the wins, yep. But, let's say we're the team spawn trapping now. Um, could you tell me the hard block spot for P3? For P3 to be anywhere behind these tires. Right, perfect. And same thing for P4, correct? Yep. Awesome. All right. And then P4 would be, where's P4? A long, right? Is yeah, P4? P4, yeah, P4 is in the middle. middle. Yeah, okay. in the yeah. middle. Yeah, yeah. And you as an AR player would still be doing the exact same thing, hard blocking, watching the middle yep. lane the entire time, marked. and occasionally checking the right to see if anyone got through. Yep. But uh, usually no one should get through because you have either one player in hill, um, or sorry, sorry, never mind, I take that back. For P3, you usually have one player in hill watching the cross, usually that's an AR player. Um, or your AR player can be top plane, and you usually have a sub player over here just calling out and getting all, getting out all that info. If you're the AR player top plane and you hear your teammate saying, "Hey, hey, hey, I need help on the right side," you just turn around and you help him. Yep. All right. Uh, more so on talking about P4 now. Could you uh, tell me what the P4 setup should be? P4, yeah. So main AR will be here. Yep. Or you could be watch or yeah, here watching mid and and if everybody crosses over towards um P four, then second AR maybe or another per sub watching this. And then one here watching bottom. Yeah, usually um usually you have two different options. Um it's you have your AR player playing back here the entire time and anchoring, um and then you have Two players going inside of plane to try to get plane control. Oh, that's right. Yeah, or yeah. you have two players going around uh, bottom plane and trying to get that cross. Or you're having two players hit the front. 
it, it that's where it gets you know kind of like you, you need a coach and he's either making, or yeah he's making the play call you know what i mean mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, yeah but yeah uh so that's what's happening we get control da, 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 da. one of the most important spots about this is sitting uh bottom p3 and having that other <sighs> sub player pushing inside top plane um, top plane, I want to let you know right now, if you guys always stick to the idea where you're only letting one player go top plane, if he's not winning his gunfights, tell him to go bottom plane, um, or tell him to have a teammate go with him. Yeah. Just because this plane control for P4 is uh, very important, and once you get it, you can uh, get the spawn trap kill. Yeah, like you said, to break into the, the plane, you can always, always go with two. Yep. All right. So, finally, P5. Um, P5. Can you tell me what the AR spots are uh, for hard blocking? For P5? Yeah, P5. Uh, hold on. No problem. Hard blocking meaning, meaning that, um, or sorry, I mean, sorry, all, yeah. all by, by you know wood, what? by wood, right? S sorry, I'll, I'll just, I'll just take that back. Um, P5 just popped, and you need to get into one of those anchor AR spots. Um, do you know what they are? Well, so basically, I'm just talking about those three spots back here in the back that I was talking about. Oh, okay, got you to anchor. Yeah, 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 yeah. one the up there. Spots, yeah. Then you got um container. Yep, and you also have top red. And yeah, that red tower. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's uh those those spots are just really important to remember because you're gonna do so much for your team just by yourself. Like I don't know how many times I saw a person get a four piece in this one spot. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yep. All right. Cool. Um. Finally, we're just going to go ahead and just break it down for control real quick. Yep. Um, and I just want to ask one question just to make sure you got the main idea for control. When you're looking at your minimap, how should everyone be? Uh, vertically, like same way, pushing up. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah. Obviously, obviously, you know, it's not going to be spread out all throughout, throughout the, across the map. Of course, of um, course, yeah. You want to do that for S&D, but... You know, for control, it'd be more like, okay, you have your two players inside a plane and your two players um, pushing up to capture B. You guys are going to want to make sure you guys are hitting that at the same time. Yep. <clears throat> Just so trades are uh, done. And uh, there's one very, very important spot for an AR when capturing points on offense. Do you know what that spot is? There's just capturing. Yeah, so um, specifically capturing uh, the right side point, A point, there's one spot that's the most important spot for an AR player to be in. Sure. Would it be green? Yes, it's exactly green. This is the most important spot for an AR player to be whenever you're trying to capture A. Green or forklift. That's right, you afford this, yep. Alright, but uh, yeah, so that pretty much concludes the map, uh, Checkmate. So, did you have any questions? No, no, not at all. Like, this was perfect. This was actually what I wanted, and then especially since we have a record, I could go over it. But I, yeah, for sure, I got a good, under I got a very good understanding on, um, on all this, for sure.